Hey y'all, welcome to the Oswald to Girl Love Shit now. Today I am doing something a little bit differently. I am doing a synthetic wig install, which you know, those are my favorite installs to do. It's so easy and it's so convenient. Um, I'm just talking a little bit before I get into everything. I'm going to show you guys the specs of the wig before I do the install because the install always it remains the same when it comes to synthetic wigs. It's just the texture, the feel of the wig, that's what switches up. The unit I have today is from the Melted Hairline Collection from Outre. I did take it out of the bag already because I wanted to see how it looked since I already did the ball cap method and everything. I needed to make sure it measured up. Um, I do have it in the chocolate caramel color, and this is what it looks like. Hold up. It looks like this. Um, it is a little bit wavy. It's supposed to be straight like how this side is, so that's how it came out of the bag. Um, this is what the stock card looks like, so when you guys are trying to purchase, this is what it's supposed to look like. It comes in so many different colors. This is my first time, I think, trying from the Melted Hairline Collection, so... But Outre always stands out, like, Outre always does its thing. I did try it on, and initially it did give me cone head. I do have a smaller head, as you guys can tell. Let me show you guys what the inside looks like. It looks like... A regular tea part is not that much um, lace on the corners I am gonna pluck it because that plucking isn't necessary for a more natural look and then it does have this stretchy elastic band which I always love I prefer these over these type of elastic bands because these never hold up they never work the way how you want it to work <laughs> it's giving monster Alright, so this is what it looks like straight out the bag on top of my head. As I told y'all before, it is giving cone head. I hate when my wigs look like this, but I'm going to show you guys the technique to get your synthetic wigs looking super flat. This is with the front, the side, the back, the other side. Um, The color is okay. You know, like, I was a little skeptical of getting this color, but... I saw this girl do it on YouTube and she killed it. Granted, she was lighter skinned, so yeah. But um, it looks okay. I'm more of a 1B girly, but I want it to be a little bit different. Let's get into the install. I'm going to stop talking now so you guys can see that process. Hey, y'all. Hey. So the explanation is honestly very self-explanatory. Y'all know I always go with my even lace tint. And then on top of that, you want to just pluck the wig a little bit. And I'll show you how I get the wig to lay nice and flat. If you guys have any questions or comments or you want to know what products I'm using, drop it down below and I'll answer any questions.
never seen her It was about five minutes ago When I seen the hottest chick that a young and never seen before I say, yo, tell the girls I wanna meet her On second time, that ain't the way to go I gotta give her game proper Spit it so she get it, there she is, I gotta stop her Or should I talk about a smile? Or what about a style? I'm out of time She's out the door, I gotta go for mine should I talk about a smile? Oh, what about a style? I'm out of time. She's out the door. I gotta go for mine. Got to go see you. And I gotta admit that you got my attention. You're making me want to see you. Oh, you're trying to leave. You don't miss. I said, I'm gonna dance with you. How I love you, keep you here with me, yo, baby. Now, so they grab hold of my hand And let's pretend the flow was ours They say you don't really dance But if you just want to stop Now when the music is moving too fast Grab my hand a little tighter Don't be afraid to move a little closer Girl, there's something about you that makes me wanna say Okay, you guys, I am finally done. The install is done, and this is what it's giving. Um, I'm gonna keep it a bean with you guys. This is not my favorite install. Um, I don't know what about it. I think maybe it might be the color. The color is actually cute. I can't lie. The color is cute. I don't know what about this wig is just screaming like Wigiana. Maybe I installed it wrong. This is my first install in a long time, but I don't even think that's it. Like, I feel like I pulled out all the techniques and it's just still giving very much Rigiana. Like, if I had like a hat, I would definitely put it on because I am going out today. Um, yeah, if I had a hat, I would definitely put it on because it's just this area, like, it's not the wig, it's the, the the front part. Usually I don't like T-part wigs because I feel like those are definitely the most wiggiest ones. Like it's just hard to make it do what it needs to do. The color is phenomenal. I think it looks perfect for fall and it goes with my, my chocolate skin too. Like it, it's eating down. But the actual like front is throwing me. I don't know. Maybe I'm like being super hard. As far as like getting it to lay down flat, I got it to lay down as flat as it could for a T part. And I did my techniques, which was the mousse and the hot comb. And then on top of that, I do bobby pin my wig down even lower than it needs to be. Is it big head friendly? I don't know, but it's definitely small head friendly doing that. I am going out with this wig, so I don't have a choice. I'm going to see if I could find a hat or something because... Yeah, I, I don't like this that's going on right here. Like, I wouldn't feel comfortable going out because I know people are going to be staring at me because of this, not because of my outfit and not because I look fine. So, that's a problem. I don't like that the wig didn't come, like, fully straight out of the package. Like, it did have, like, a wave to it. I don't know why. Um... Yeah, I'll show you lost me with this one. But what do you guys think? I would say if it's over 40, don't purchase it. But if it's under 40, like I think it's maybe worth the buy. Especially if you want to do something colorless. But that is it. That is all. I have to go. Um, I'm running late. We're about to be apartment hunting. So I'm going to catch you guys. Also, big thank you for getting me to 5K. I'm going to try to like 
revamp my videos just so my OGs could see more of my personality and switch up from the same old, same old. Like, I brought you guys here and I'm so happy that you guys joined the community. Now I'm gonna just try everything in my power to keep you guys here because you know, I love you guys times 10, as I always say in every video, especially if you rock with me. I'm rocking with Mark because Mark is rocking with me. Anyway, um, Thank you guys so much for getting me to 5k. It means so much to me. Go check out my vlogging channel. When I don't post here, I usually post over there. And I have a super long vlog that's out. So go check that out. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Bye.